Magandang 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 araw po mga kaibigan. Ito po ang inyong lingkod si uh, Dr. Arlie Bacasiano Imperio. Ang specialization ko po ay wellness and preventive medicine. At uh, tayo po ay uh, isang uh, medical consultant sa Forever Healthy uh, LLC. At uh, magbibigay po ko sa inyo mga kaibigan ng journal report. Ang journal, ang journal report po mga kaibigan ay isa pong research study. At ito po ang title ng journal report, Effects of uh, Dietary Nucleotides on Immune Mechanisms and Physical State in Children with Chronic Respiratory Problem. At uh, by the way mga kaibigan, ito po ay isang pong third party research at uh, ito po ay uh, walang connection sa Forever Healthy LLC. Kaya uh, kung uh, interesado lang po kayo malaman ang uh, pag-aaral na ito, then you can continue. At uh, wala po tayong, uh, let's say, uh, diagnosis, treatment, or cure. At uh, kung meron po tayong mga health statements na mababanggit, ito po ay hindi evaluated ng uh, Food and Drug Administration. At kung meron po kayong mga sakit, uh, be sure you consult your doctor and you follow your doctor. Kaya itong report po mga kaibigan, pag-uusapan lang po natin to for uh, educational purposes para mapag-aralan natin kung ano ang findings ng mga third-party uh, researchers. Kaya Uh, be ready po to learn more and uh, be ready to take notes. So, ito po yung uh, itsura ng journal. We have it at the left side. So, uh, bakit mahalaga itong journal report na to? Why is this very important? Una, mapapansin nyo po, nandun yung title, nabasa po ninyo. Uulitin ko po, Effects of Dietary Nucleotides on Immune Mechanisms and Physical State in Children with chronic respiratory problem at ito po ay na-featured sa American Journal of Immunology sa Amerika at ito po was uh, presented and was classified as an original review paper quote and unquote Ngayon, bakit uh, mahalaga itong journal na to? So, hihimay-mayin natin. Yung itong journal na to, unang-una po ay, uh, uh, as we mentioned, was featured in the American Journal of Immunology. Original review paper po siya. Yung kanyang article history, it was uh, submitted uh, April 8, 2014. And then it was revised uh, uh, about a year later, 2015, and it was uh, eventually accepted. Sa mga katawid, hindi lang to parang isang health article na ibinigay sa si isang editor ng isang health magazine at possibly bumili po ng advertising space at ganyan na featured niya. Ito hindi po. This is a research, uh, uh, let's say, evaluation. Kaya nga notice, oh, it took about a year bago po uh, tinanggap at uh, nagbigay po ng mga suggestions that will uh, Uh, fit the standards of research kaya it was uh, to some certain degree was revised and take note mga kaibigan yung title ng journal nasa nucleotide and then ine-emphasize niya dietary okay? kasi pag-aaralan natin as we go along na ang nucleotide po dalawa ang kanyang source pwede yung sinasabing en endogenous nucleotide meaning the body creates the nucleotide. Kaminsan sinasabi, ay hindi mo na kailangan ng nucleotide kasi ginagawa ng body. Pero meron naman isang source yung exogenous nucleotide. This is the, the, the nucleotides that was uh, derived from outside sources o kaya dietary sources. So alam na po ninyo itong pag-aaral na to. It is on exogenous nucleotides. And then uh, pangatlo mga kaibigan, Uh, yung pag-aaral ginawa sa mga bata kaya kung okay sa bata eh usually uh, pwede mong sabihin na eh, okay sa lahat in terms of uh, safety and then uh, from the uh, the uh, research uh, ang focus po niya tatlo 
immune system, a physical state, and respiratory system. So, tatlo, immune system, yan yung ability of the body to fight any life-threatening uh, uh, factor, whether it is biological, chemical, or environmental. Yung physical state, yung general energy ng body. And then, yung respiratory, uh, that is one of the most important uh, system of the body. Right? And then, uh, finally, uh, we would like to emphasize na ito po ay uh, randomized, placebo-controlled clinical study. And, it, and uh, this type of uh, study is considered the gold standard in research. Kasi madalas, eh, lalo na kung doktor ang kausap mo, sasabihin niya sa iyo, oh, mayroon bang pag-aaral yan? Mayroon bang research study? Eh, ang sagot po, ito po, ito na pong journal na to. Itong pag-aaral na to. And it is... Uh, Randomized, placebo-controlled, clinical, ito po ay yung gold standard na sinasabi. Yung randomized mga kaibigan, dalawang grupo po yan, at uh, hindi alam nung bawat isa sa dalawang grupo kung sila ay mapapasama sa experimental group o kaya uh, placebo group. Kaya nga, randomized. Placebo kasi... Uh, yung, yung, yung placebo group, bibigyan po siya ng, uh, let's say, ng allegedly nucleotide. Hindi niya alam kung may nucleotide o wala. So, ganyan po yan. Ayan, pag-aaralan natin as we uh, go along. Ngayon, para maintindihan natin yung sinasabing clinical study, ang basis of evidence, mga kaibigan, at tatlo. Ang pinaka-umpisa, anecdotal o kaya testimonial, meron pong sinasabing case medical report. This can be the starting point. May balita na nakakatulong daw. Pero ito po ang weakest. At uh, binanggit ko po ito kasi karamihan po sa mga food supplements ang focus po sa testimonial. It is uh, the starting point but it is the weakest. Kasi po, it can be subject to bias and there are many uh, open variables. A better basis of evidence is laboratory study. At uh, yan po yung sinasabing in vitro studies. And then a better evidence is animal studies. Ibig sabihin, meron na pong uh, buhay. Uh, tinitingnan ko ano yung effect. So, in vivo. Vivo means life. In vivo studies. Pero yung pinakamataas na research o kaya study, e clinical study, ultimately, ano ang tama? Ano ang effect sa tao? So, yan ang sinasabing clinical study where research or trials are done in human subjects. And this is the best and the highest pag sinabing clinically tested. Kaya minsan natatanungin ka ng doktor, meron ba yung mga clinical studies? So, ito yung tinutukoy niya. Pag sinabi niya, meron ba yung research studies, ayan, it could be in vitro or in vivo. Ngayon, yung anecdotal, eh, may nabalitaan. It could be a medical case report as observed by a doctor and then submitted. Okay? But that is only the starting point, but the weakest. But the highest and the best and considered the gold standard is uh, clinical study. So, there will be two groups, kaya nga double, double blind. Yung dalawang grupo na yan, hindi nila alam sino sa kanila makakatanggap halimbawa o magte-take ng dietary nucleotide at isang grupo wala. Pero hindi nila alam kung ang tinitake nila may dietary nucleotide o wala. Kaya nga yung sinasabing a double blind placebo control. And then randomized yung dalawang grupo na binuo ay uh, hindi nila lab kung saan sila ma-assign doon ba sa merong dietary nucleotide o kaya placebo. Kaya nga gold standard. So, it already eliminates the uh, problem of bias. So, pag may clinical study, abay, the best yan. So, ito pong report na to, itong journal report. This is a clinical study. Okay? Nakakaintindihan na po tayo. So, ang mga researchers po mga kaibigan, uh, yan po si na Rector Joseph, si uh, Vladimir 
Blastemil, Ivana Jitka Baklab, tsaka si Lucy. Ito po yung mga research scientists sa Czech Republic at uh, si Baklab po sa Amerika. So, ito po yung abstract. Ang ibig sabihin ng abstract, parang summary. So, even though you don't uh, read the entire study, at least you have an idea what it's all about. So, number one, yung pag-aaral ginawa po sa isang uh, syudad sa uh, Europe na highly industrialized, mataas ang pollution, at uh, maraming tao naninigarilyo. So, ang effect niyan, merong, uh, let's say, pollution that will affect the respiratory, passive smoking, respiratory. Kaya nga, ang pag-aaral sa respiratory. Number two, mga bata ang uh, subject na meron ng chronic respiratory problem. And then, i-evaluate ko ano yung effect ng uh, short-term supplementation of dietary nucleotides kung makakatulong nga sa kanilang respiratory system. And then, uh, pangatlo, yung basis of measurement. So, meron silang pinag-aralan. May sukat, measured. Yung una, yung salivary immunoglobulin A. Uh, ito po will evaluate the immunity or immune status. Yung ENO, endothelium nitric oxide, yan, i-evaluate yung effects sa uh, endothelial lining ng lungs. And then, uh, physical activity, yan yung, uh, let's say, energy. Di ba? Di ba yung study, immune system, physical state, and respiratory. And then, number four, ang conclusion nila, sabi nila, we found positive effects of oral supplementation with commercially available nucleotides. Aba, okay, yeah. And then, uh, number five, our data demonstrate strong improvement in physical activity. Oh, yun, physical state. Strong decreasing of uh, uh, endothelial nit nitric oxide. So, ibig sabihin, nag improve yung respiratory. And then, uh, maintaining the levels of uh, salivary, kasi sa saliva in pinag-aralan, yung immunoglobulin A. So, ito po yung immunity. So, the, the data showed that uh, nag-improve yung immune system, yan nga sa libari uh, immunoglobulin A, nag-improve yung physical activity at uh, nag-decrease yung, yung ENO sa lungs, right? Uh, and then, uh, therefore, there was an improve in the respiratory. Kaya nga, number six, ang conclusion, we conclude that supplementation with nucleotides offers an easy way to improve health condition in children. So, yan yung abstract. Now, we will be going to the details. Uh, the goal of the study is to test the effects of improving the nutritional conditions by supplementing the food with samples with high levels of nucleotides. So, ito po yung protocol o kaya yung procedure na ginawa nila. Like what we uh, discussed a while ago, number one, it's randomized trial compared one dose of commercially available nucleotide. At yung dosage po ay 2 mg per day for 4 weeks and a placebo in children. Ibig sabihin, yung isang grupo po merong nucleotide, yung isang grupo placebo. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwede nakakapsula po siya, hindi niya alam kung may nucleotide o wala. So, yun na sinasabing, yung walang nucleotide, placebo. Pero yung, yung experimental group, meron at 2 mg a day. A total of 138 children. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ito isa, dalawa, tatlo, o isang dosena. More than 100, 138 children na more or less have the same as status. Uh, Minesure yung kanilang height, weight, body mass index, di ba? And then they were all uh, together in one place. At uh, yung pag-aaral po, apat na linggo o kaya isang buwan. And the trial was conducted at the uh, Sanitarium of Edel Zlate Hori Czech Republic. Now, if you like to read the details, ayan, nasa left portion ng itong slide. Ngayon, ito po yung uh, tests na ginawa. Uh, lahat ng subjects 
they uh, got the saliva okay and then uh, they got it at the same time uh, eh, eh, between 9 a.m. 8 to 9 a.m. nagkaroon ng sampling para ma-eliminate po yung influence ng circadian rhythm and then uh, yung device to get the uh, saliva sample yung ay yung salivate device and then ito po yung procedure para ma-measure yung salivary immunoglobulin A okay yung immunoglobulin yan yung uh, yung A specifically yan yung uh, bahagi ng uh, innate immunity at ganoon din sa adaptive immunity pag antibodies na po na lumalaban sa mga uh, bacteria, viruses, pathogen. So this is one way to measure the uh, immunity status. And then uh, number 5 item, lahat sila uh, at the beginning and end of the study nagkaroon ng 6 minute walk test. So, lakad sila ng 6 minutes. How far can they go? And then, that was that at the beginning of the study, at the end of the study. So, they will now see if there is, uh, let's say, uh, a significant change. And then, para pare-pareho, these tests were done 2 hours after meal. And then, uh, yung nga, binanggit ko kanina, uh, kinuha din yung kanilang weight, height, and body mass index. And it was calculated to show that the, the subjects are more or less of the same category. And then, uh, at the beginning, in-evaluate yung uh, endothelial nitric oxide and at the end, para makita kung nagkaroon po ng, ng improvement. And then, all of this, uh, lahat sila para control yung uh, condition, they all stayed at the sanitarium uh, idel at uh, they have the same uh, dietary uh, regimen. Uh, corresponding to their age category. Nakita niya po kung paano ginawa yung pag-aaral. Ngayon, ito na po yung resulta. So, what happened? So, dun, dun sa 6-minute uh, walk test, there was a significant increase in the supplemented group. Ibig sabihin ng supplemented group, ito yung merong uh, uh, dietary nucleotides. And then, the control group, walang dietary nucleotides. So, sa findings, yung merong nucleotide, a significant yung increase yung control group yung placebo ko, uh, group uh, slight lang po ang kanilang increase Num number two findings yung endothelial nitric oxide there was a significant decrease of uh, uh, effects of uh, ENO sa so supplemented group so that means there is an improvement kasi nag decrease siya against the control group. Yung control group, yung placebo, ako uh, konti lang yung decrease. And then number three, yung salivary immunoglobulin A, the uh, salivary immunoglobulin A were not significantly changed by the diet supplementation. Ibig sabihin, yung merong uh, nucleotide supplementation, naka-steady lang yan. There was no change, significant change. Pero yung walang dietary nucleotides, there was a significant decrease ha? decrease of salivary immunoglobulin A. So, ibig sabihin eh, humina yung uh, immune status niya. So, yan po mga kaibigan ang uh, resulta. So, ano ngayon ang conclusion? Uh, from our results, uh, we can conclude that supplementation with nucleotides cause significant improvements in all tested reaction. Yan ang conclusion. So, ano yun? Diba? Immune response, diba? physical state, and respiratory. Uh, supplementation of what? Of nucleotides. Kaya ito rin po ang sagot sa mga tanong. Ano yan? Food supplement? Oh, food supplement. Ay, supplement lang pala yan. Ay, marami nga ako dyan. Hindi ko nga iniinom. Hindi. Hindi ito ordinary food supplement. Nucleotide supplementation po to. Na halos wala sa mga food supplements na meron po sa atin. So, halimbawa, tingnan po ninyo yung mga food supplements ninyo. Meron bang nucleotide? Eh, madalas eh, wala. O di, wala kang nucleotide supplementation. Kaya hindi pare-pareho lahat. Ito po ay supplementation with nucleotides. And the conclusion was, it will improve immunity, it will improve physical state or energy, it will improve respiratory function.
So under the uh, portion of discussion, number one, our data demonstrated that even, uh, even short-term supplementation with dietary nucleotide affected physical stress-related changes by holding the levels of IgA or immunoglobulin A steady, which was strongly suppressed in the control group of children. So, ibig sabihin, yung uh, IgA uh, that will uh, measure the level of immunity uh, with the dietary uh, nucleotide even in short-term uh, uh, supply, uh, naging steady yung immune system. Samantalang yung grupo na walang nucleotide, uh, it uh, significantly uh, went down. Number two, in our current study, we found no dose-related problems, neither clinically or in the laboratory. Ibig sabihin, usually, tinatanong, meron bang ano yan, overdosage? Meron ba yung uh, side effects? O ito yung sagot, uh, we found no dose-related problems, neither clinically or in the laboratory. And number three, uh, in the discussion, the effects of dietary nucleotide supplementation suggest their importance in keeping the optimal quality of physiological function and supporting some mechanisms of both specific and non-specific immune reaction. So, ibig sabihin, pagating sa immunity, uh, sinusuportahan niya. Yung non-specific, yung general immunity, which is innate immunity. Yung specific, which is the adaptive uh, immunity, where antibodies are specifically created to specific antigens or uh, health-threatening uh, factors. And then, sinabi po, it will uh, support optimal quality of physiological function. Kaya nga ang tawag ito, uh, functional food, because it will support uh, body function. And nucleotides in the form of nucleic acids, uh, yan po yung DNA, RNA, affect several biochemical processes necessary for adequate function of living organisms. And then, uh, binanggit din po sa discussion, nutritional interventions in the form of food supplementation with nucleotides. With micronutrients, with bovine colostrum or glucans in groups with increased physical challenge have become the main research approach of numerous studies. And then you can now see in orange yung mga different uh, researchers being done by uh, uh, researchers. And then, uh, para maintindihan niyo po itong uh, quotation na atin pong babanggitin, ito po yung mga terms. Pag nakita niyo po yung DNT, small d, capital NT, it refers to dietary nucleotide. Pag sinabi yung IL-2, yan po yung uh, IL-3, yan yung interleukin 2 and 3. Uh, that will indicate uh, uh, innate immunity response. Uh, interleukin 1 to 12 yan eh. So, uh, and then pluripotent stem cells, ang ibig sabihin niyan, the ability of the body to undergo self-renewal and give rise to all cells and tissues of the body. Ibig sabihin, yung pluripotent stem cells, ito yung stem cell, ito yung mother stem cell that will uh, uh, create the other cells of the body and eventually support the tissues of the body. Kasi yung cell na sa loob ng tissue. Okay, after having understood those statements, those terms, ito na yung statement. And I quote, dietary nucleotides also affect liver function and liver generation. So, very specific liver and stimulated production of some components of the complement cascade. O yan yung sa innate immunity. And then, uh, on the other hand, uh, dietary nucleotide deficit, ibig sabihin kulang sa nucleotide. Ang tawag niya ni dietary nucleotide free diets, kulang sa diet, will result in suppression of some immune reaction. So, hihina yung immune uh, system and specifically decrease of interleukin 2 and interleukin 3. Ayan, naintindihan na natin. Uh, and decrease in the number of pluripotent stem cells. Na mahalaga itong pluripotent stem cells sa self uh, regeneration, repair and regeneration, it will decrease. Eh, kailangan natin yan, lalo na kung meron sakit. So, very powerful, no? Yes, yeah, so yan, yeah, it came from the uh, research study. 
It is not surprising, therefore, that this complex role of dietary nucleotide is currently the focus of extensive interest of both theoretical scientists and clinicians. Kaya ang focus ngayon ngayon is sa research sa dietary nucleotides. And uh, in addition, binanggit po sa journal uh, na in addition, more and more attention is focused on how to improve immune functions before, ha, take note of before, before the start of the expected epidemics of infectious diseases. Maraming sakit that can uh, reach to epidemic proportion. Ibig sabihin ng epidemic, uh, the incidence was uh, higher than the usual uh, rate in a particular area. Pero ang Eh, yung mga infectious diseases yung can cause infection like uh, hepatitis, uh, cholera, tuberculosis, and others. Marami yan. Uh, the immune system should be supported before the epidemic. Hindi yung pag may epidemia na tsaka tayo kikilos. So, in addition, if I will repeat, more and more attention is focused on how to improve immune functions before the start of the expected epidemics of infectious diseases. And uh, furthermore, supplementation with dietary nucleotide might offer some help in regeneration processes, normalization of metabolic, physiologic, and immune functions in a wide range of patients from people with high stress to chronically ill patients or the elderly. So, notice, ha, ang pag-aaral ginawa sa bata. Pero, it was uh, stress that it is uh, practically uh, almost for everyone. So, sino? Yung mga nai-stress sa trabaho, di ba? Sa negosyo, di ba? High stress. To chronically ill, ito yung mga convalescent patients o kaya uh, usually degenerative diseases. Tsaka, emphasize sa mga elderly. Okay, so yan po ang uh, brief uh, description ng study. Uh, get in touch with the person who shared you this uh, uh, video or presentation and then uh, tanungin nyo po kung may alam siya tungkol sa dietary nucleotides. And I'm sure uh, whoever shared you this uh, presentation uh, has some additional information. So bahala na po kayo, no? get in touch with the person. So ito po ang yung lingko, si Dr. Arlie Macasiano Imperio na sumisigaw. Uh, from the Philippines, mabuhay, which means more to your life and health. And always remember that uh, staying healthy or prevention is preferred than getting the best cure. And then uh, also remember that uh, health may not be everything, but the moment you lose your health, you might lose everything. So God bless you, and I pray that all of us will always be blessed with uh, uh, love, uh, health, uh, prosperity, and goodwill to all of mankind.